What do you do with those extra monitors you have laying around the house? Well, you build a Hackintosh with the Latte Panda Alpha from DF Robot, of course. Hello, friends, and welcome to Mods Tech. In my opinion, the Latte Panda is what I always wanted my old Raspberry Pi to be. The 864 boasts an 8th gen quad core M3 with speeds up to 3.4 gigahertz, 8 gigabytes of DDR3 RAM and integrated graphics with speeds up to 900 megahertz. Oh, but there's so much more. So many specs to list, I might as well just show you. And a pretty cool thing that it comes pre-installed with Windows 10. Yeah, Windows 10. <laughs> Don't get me wrong, I'm not trying to encourage Hackintosh builds, only to explore many possibilities. You see, my Mac Mini died and I really enjoyed that little guy. So when I received my Latte Panda Pocket Computer, ideas were endless. So I started making a mount, supplied with the nylon stands and a piece of leftover acrylic. Attaching the supplied antennas, and this is for Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. Man, this thing has everything. <laughs> you will need a VESA monitor to attach the Panda this way, and some screws. I went through my collection until I found the right fit. Since I currently do not own a real Mac, I went over to Hackintosh Zone, found everything I needed for a Mojave install. I chose Mojave because I believe it has drivers for external GPUs, like an RX 580, and that can be a great later project. <laughs> Possibilities are endless and you will see this again. So here we go. This is what I did with Panda. Like I said, it comes with Windows 10. So you could dual or triple boot Windows, Linux, Macs, Android, whatever. And plus it comes with Arduino. So those tech projects can come to life. Please make sure to look for the links in the description, like, subscribe, share, and all that good stuff. Didn't like this video? Well, hell, share it with someone you don't like, besides me, because I don't want to see it again. <laughs> I'll see you next time. Thank you. <laughs>